Hello everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial and I want to go over parenting with nulls this time and how to use nulls in case you don't need to parent to a specific object in your scene. So what if we want to take this logo here and we want these teardrops to rotate uh, around with each other all at the same time but then after that break off into their own um, areas and move in position on their own. So we can't just parent them to the brown null because then when we move the or to the brown teardrop because when, when we move the brown teardrop on its own these other two are going to follow it and you can't keyframe parenting. So what we need to do is parent these to a null object. But what I'm talking about is if we go up here to layer and we go to new we go to null object. And a null object pretty much is just a an object with no properties on it that can be used to um, parent to it can be used for all sorts of things and I'll go over like some different uses of nulls in another tutorial but uh, this is one of them here so what I wanted to do is probably line up this null with the anchor point on this brown uh, teardrop here so if we line that up let's find the brown drop here if we put down our um, our guidelines and our rulers, so if we go here to show rulers, we can bring down our rulers to figure out where the null is when we need to position our null object, or the anchor point is when we need to position our null object. Keep on saying null in place of like everything, but so let's move this, and you don't need to move the anchor point of the null; you can just move the actual null itself. There we go. So that the anchor point of the null is usually in the top left of this little square here. So now we've got that right in the middle there. Now we can parent all of these teardrops to it. So let me do that. Null 11, null 11, and null 11. So now I can move this null around with its position and these will follow. Same with rotation and everything that parenting allows you to move when parenting. So it's position, rotation, and scale. So what we wanted to do is have these um, do something like a rotation and then like split off or something like that. So let's uh, actually do like a position and then we'll have them split off. So I'll show you what I mean. We can start them there move ahead a second make a position keyframe move ahead another second and we'll move this down to here and then that way we can take each of these drops and move them well actually we've got to keyframe them so let's open the position of these guys now hit the keyframe buttons so they're still going to move on their own here, or together here. Then once they get to here, we can move them on their own. So this one can, maybe we'll bring it down. And then these two, we can move them to the left and to the right. To get something like this. Oh, I should have... Uh, I'm supposed to keyframe those a second ahead. I forgot to move ahead. Let's do it again. Bring these down. It'll take two seconds. One, two. I guess I was wrong. There we go. Now here's what I'm talking about. They both come down while while they're parented the null, and now everything can move off on its own. So that's uh, what I'm talking about there. Now, a really good use for um, using a null to be a parent is uh, when you use a 3D camera. And it actually doesn't have to be a 3D camera, it's just a regular camera. And um, I went over different types of camera rigs with you in a previous tutorial where we use nulls to move the cameras around. And uh, that's uh, uh, an advanced tactic that people use when moving cameras since it's a lot easier and you don't have to move around the actual 
camera and mess with its different values. So you can keep the uh, values like uh, position and rotation separate. You could also create uh, s separate nulls and name them either position movement or rotation movement and you can still um, have them the other uh, uh, drops like parented to it and everything like that. So that's how you use nulls. They're, I don't know, they're basically good for parenting too. That's the main thing I always use them for. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, thumbs up it if you would like and thumbs down it if you would like also. Subscribe for more videos and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial that I uh, make up. Have a good one everybody.